Hey everyone, it's Lori and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well today. So we are going to do another one of these envelopes. I'm kind of obsessed and hooked on them. Um, so this right here is a digital and it is from Doreen at Ooh La La Vintage Treasures. Beautiful digital she has. I mean, look at that guys. Um, so I've already sewed around it. Let's get that off. And got a little piece of pink trim and sewed it on there and I do have that um, trace of paper that I sewed on the inside so now we're going to decorate it up with some pretty so in the last video I was trying to use this and um, yeah get it like squinched up and it didn't go very well so I actually just decided to take a couple of pieces of it over to my sewing machine and I just put some tool over the top of it and then sewed the two together into a messy ruffle because messy ruffles are the only ruffles that I know how to do. And I did take some of that other and did the same thing with it. So we have that. Uh, and I also got uh, some more of my sorry silk on the last of my little small spools that I have. Um, so I do want to get some more of these spools so that I could have... At least some of my sari silk on those. Plus, they make pretty decorations in your craft room, too. Um, and then I have this ring. So, this one was painted. And I have a whole box of these little rings, whatever they are, um, that I've never did anything with that I actually got at. I believe I got these at the Peace Place, and I just bought the whole box. Um, so, what I did on this, guys, was just went ahead and kind of measured... Um, because I need to make up some bows or at least have something ready to make some bows for these projects. Um, so I actually just went ahead and measured out some sari silk and then just put it around it where it'll be easy to take them off. And they're already pre-cut and I could just grab this ring. See how easy? Take one off. That's all I did to put it on there. And then make my bow and put it on my project. So yeah, because like I said, I've had these rings for probably a year and a half or longer. And have never figured out anything to do with them. So, there we go. We have that ready. Don't even know if I was in camera or not. But, yeah. Um, so, we have that ready. So, what I'm thinking on this one. So, this will probably end up being a super. So, I'm not going to do anything in here. Because, I mean, look. You don't have to. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I know the text and everything's going sideways. But, that doesn't bother me. So, what I was thinking about doing. I did get... One of the appliques. You could actually make two appliques out of this if you wanted to. But I just left it in one. Off of that wedding dress. And what I'm thinking about doing is like putting this like all the way across. And then putting this like over it. Somehow. I want to make sure that that is sticking out. Um, but yeah, get that on there out like that and then I had let's see I had it earlier where we could like cover up that stitching let's see with those little roses there but I thought that would be super cute so I think we'll do that so let's go ahead and just snip a small piece off of that end I did fill up both of my now, I didn't like how this held it. I did fill up that one and my Fabri-Tac. So, got those filled up. So, that's good. We won't have to sit here forever waiting on it to... Oops. Come down. Just let me make a mess here. Maybe we'll kind of bring it in like that. And then do that there. And then we can just do our little rosettes like that. Oh yeah, I think that's going to be cute. So we'll leave that like that. Yeah, we still got enough of that on the actual envelope yeah so I mean this is just not going to need much at all 
So let's see which ways, which way do these go? Which way, which way? Let's get us some glue pretty much right down the middle. that uh, tack to that not sure if it's the tool or that material it's like nothing really wants to oh there it goes it's catching so you can say I hear to it very good okay maybe I'll just do one No. Yeah, I like that. So, go ahead and do that. Hopefully, we can get it to stay down okay. Let's see. Then we could go around here, try to get this down. Just load it up with that fabric tack. Should do the trick. These appliques are so pretty. Really good. Oh yeah, that should stay. Hope you're all doing good today. It's been a pretty good day. Have been off today. Just been doing a whole lot of nothing but a little bit in my craft room. Oh, that's so pretty. And what's nice about this is you don't need a closure because the heaviness of the appliques actually you know keeps it let's see keeps it down do that like that oops excuse me guys my eyeballs itching oh all I did was went out today and checked the mailbox. I'm beginning to think maybe I'm allergic to myself. <laughs> oh, my word. Anyway. Yep, I think that's doing really good. Oh, how pretty. Look, guys. Look at how pretty that is. I love it. Okay, so what else do we want? Because I know we want a bow. Let me think. Lord have mercy. I do have that flower. That's kind of cute. still stick it up pretty hard. Now what I did, because it was a whole lot thicker than that, is I tried to take my needle nose pliers and just take it and squish it flat. Like, oh, did I break it? Like as hard as I can here. To make it flatter. So if you run across these that's real like thick or what have you that maybe you don't necessarily 
use those you can always still buy them if they're at a good deal and just use your needle nose pliers to flatten that down because like maybe sticking up pretty far on the front of a journal would be okay but I don't think in a journal so if this envelope ends up going in a journal I really don't want it sticking up I don't know. I don't think maybe those. What other flowers do I have? Oh. Let's see what we have in here, guys. Oh, look, there's a tool wing. I think that's too thick, too. I don't like that. Oh, that's a better cut. Well, no, not really. Hmm. Didn't even realize I had those tulle flowers in there. That's too blendy. Let's see, there's another tulle one. Those are super cute. Oh, let's see, that's way, way too big. It's a white tool. That's not going to look good. Hmm. And those are like brown color. That's not going to look good. Okay. Well, I guess so much for that. Those are pretty, but again, wrong color. But that is really pretty. Or would that look good on there? No. Okay. Oh well. That doesn't look good. Um. I have more, but I don't think they're gonna look good with that either. Let's see. Let's grab them just in case. Oh, there are some pink ones in here. So this is a mason jar that I actually decorated. I think it was a collaboration I joined. Oh, well, that's cute. Could probably squish it down. Let's see. Let's see what else we got first before we make up our mind. That one's a pretty color. I think I like the smaller one better. That one's the same. Let me have that one, but I don't like that black in the center. Do have that one. Okay, I think that's all we're going to have to choose from there. Cute, huh? Yep. I think I put it on that pretty good, but whatever. I think the smaller one. Alright, so let's get the pliers back out. Let's see if we can squish this down. Make it a bit flatter. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I like that. That's cute. Okay, let's just put those over there in the dish. No. Okay. What are we doing here? Alright, 
so let's get this little girl Fabri-Tac on there and then I guess we will call it a video not a super long video I do have one more that I want to get filmed because it's an Etsy shop here I'm really excited about so alright just hold this down for a moment and I'll grab the um, other ones for those of you who didn't see the last video and we'll look at oh we need a bow dur, 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 dur. completely forgot okay so we are just going to use one of these we'll use this one Ooh, maybe. Oh man, see guys, my hands just. I think I'm just trying to be too careful with it. I think that's the problem. And pull it down. And then tighten it. We can use that piece there. All right, let's see. We want it there or up here. You could do it in the corner like that. I think I like it up there in the corner. So that's where she's going to go. So let's get her fabric tacked up. Oh man. How is that glue oozing out like that? Do y'all see that? Oh, I'm not sure what exactly happened there. Oh, and I hate getting fabric tack on my hands. Okay, so let's go ahead and just get through this. And then I will figure that out. I may have put too much glue in there. I did fill it up pretty good, so. Alright. Let's put her in the corner there. Cute. I really like these. Yuck. Now I'm getting glue boogers everywhere. Okay, guys. Let's try to get that to hold. There we go. Yep, I'm going to have to get that cleaned up or that's going to... almost never got the um, other one open to fill it. So note to self, don't fill your Fabri-Tac too full. Okay, there we go, guys. So that is our cute little envelope. Oh, too cute. Okay, so we have this one. Then we have this one that we made in the last video. That one there. And then we have this one, I think, was the prototype. And we have that one. 
So there we go, guys. All right, thank you all so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. Get this stuff cleaned up and put away and film my um, Etsy shop share because I haven't even opened it yet, guys. It's driving me crazy, but I already had all this out. All right, I love you guys, and we'll see you next time. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a super quick comment. Bye, guys.